Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, and now you know, and we are back home. We got a day off, so we're gonna vlog. I have a lot of exciting packages to open. Actually, I don't know what half of them are, so we're gonna do a little PR unboxing. It's a Wednesday, so I'm home all day. We just got some stuff to do. I know I think I ended the last video saying that I was gonna vlog over like Easter weekend with the whole family. I tried. I started a video. I filmed one clip. It was so chaotic. And honestly, we're just like really, really spending time together. So there was no footage of that. So there was no vlog happening there, but we're back home and I've gotten so many packages piled up. I was gonna wait until Justin left for the gym because I feel like that's just when I always start vlogging, which he was like, do you even still do YouTube anymore? I feel like you haven't been in a vlog in forever. I got a Revolve package and I haven't worked with Revolve in a really long time. And I was going to give him a little try on haul anyway to show him everything I got. So I was like, we'll just start the video. That way I don't have to try these on twice and I can show you guys what I got. And I can show him what I got. I had pretty much like, we have a trip to Cancun booked as like our staff trip. So that's in the works in May. And then obviously we have our like European summer. So that's kind of what everything was for. I don't really have too much here that's more just like everyday kind of clothes. But... Everything is more so with those vacations in mind, but everything is going to be linked down below in my Revolve favorites. I'll update it with everything. And I'm very excited. They have some of the cutest spring and summer clothes up right now. Like this dress. We're gonna try her on. On, on the website, I was like, this kind of is kind of random. Like it's not, I don't know, but actually on it looks so much cuter. Love the color scheme. I feel like this is different. I don't ever wear colors like that. And I feel like with a lot of my Europe outfits, I'm going very neutral, so I'm glad that I'm like, actually a lot of this stuff, I'm really adding a lot of color in, but this is so cute. I love this, I'm very happy with this. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we have another outfit like that, it's the same knitted. I thought I was gonna have to wear this as a bikini cover up. I thought it was gonna be way more see-through than it was, but I feel like especially up here, it's pretty like opaque. I feel like I could get away with wearing this as an actual outfit and not necessarily just a cover up, but Really cute. I love this whole like crochet knitted. I feel like it's super in right now. And I am a really big fan. We are off to a very good start, but obviously more neutrals. This I think might be the only black thing I got in here. I feel like everything else is actually like bright, fun colors. Okay, this. It's a denim dress and I want this to work so bad, but I'm worried like how stretchy do we think this is gonna be? I feel like it either is gonna fit me like a glove or like it's just not gonna work. Okay, actually. There's some stretch to it. I'm excited. Let's try this on. I hope it fits. It fits actually like really nicely. It's, I feel like Britney Spears circa whatever 2000s year that was when her and Justin Timberlake wore like the all denim outfit. I don't have anything fun denim like this. So that's why I was like, I really want to get this, but I just, I don't know why I had a feeling it wasn't going to fit. I love this. This is so fun. The two tone. And I feel like if you just wear literally jeans and anything, it'll go so well with this. Like light box jeans, like a white t-shirt, white yeah. t-shirt, something like that classic. Just something simple. This is fine. This is successful so far. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, this I'm really sad about because it was a two-piece set sold separately, but I think the top sold out before my order was like, Place. And obviously this is like, I'm, it's gifted through Revolve. So if someone buys it, they're obviously gonna get it before me. So I only have the skirt. So I don't have the top that goes with it, but I do have a plain white top. Maybe we'll try this on with, or when it comes back in stock, I could just buy the top. Because I do like this whole rose look. I really wanted it in white, but it was completely sold out in my size in white. Let me see where the top is. I think it's this. I thought this would possibly go with another skirt in here, but maybe we'll try it on with this and see if that'll work. It kind of gives the same like flowy vibe. I just don't think this will necessarily look good together. Let's try it on and see. It's not like atrocious, but I would never wear these together. I do really like the skirt though. So maybe we'll see if I can get the matching top in stock before then. I mean, I do have quite a few months to see through if you're wondering why I'm covering me. But this is the skirt that I got to go with it because it has white in it. I think this will just match better. So let's try the top on 
with this instead. Okay, this is a way better option. I think just because the skirt itself has white, so it looks like it goes. Why well, is the camera super overexposed right now? But just a cute baby blue. I'm pretty sure I used to have a skirt that was like very similar to this. And then I got rid of them because I'm like not a skirt girl, but I feel like skirts are so in right now. And I need to get more. I, I want to get like a denim skirt. I don't own one. I think that would be either like a denim mini skirt or a denim even like midi maxi skirt. That will take up a lot of room in my suitcase. I don't think that's a smart idea. But this is cute. We have another two-piece set in here that's a fun color. So let's try this on green. I feel like I don't really wear or own green hardly at all. So this will be fun. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think this might be my most successful Revolve package ever. The set is Camila Coelho. I think that's how you pronounce it. One of my favorite designers on Revolve. It is a little bit pricier, but everything I have from her, I keep for like years and I wear over and over and over again. So this little set, very, very like true green. I kind of feel like a shamrock, but I think it's fun. I love the ruffles. It is so girly. We have ruffles here, ruffles here, bows here. I love this. This is definitely coming with me to Europe. Like me in Paris with like a croissant and a little cappuccino. So cute. This dress looks pretty fun. I don't necessarily know if this is, this will probably be a Cancun dress, honestly. I feel like this is maybe more Cancun over Europe, but like so fun. Okay, let's try her on. I'm excited. This is like a big win for me. All of these working out, this is huge. It's just like not common for things to fit this well on me. And these are literally like made for me. These are all fitting like a glove. Definitely giving more Mexico vibes than Europe though. Like maybe Mallorca, but like definitely not Italy, Paris, any of those. So we'll have to see when she'll be used, but she's super cute. I definitely feel like Cancun would be the move as long as, oh, your new orange shirt. That could work. Cute, really, I like the like asymmetry going on down here. Really happy with that. Okay, this top, I don't know what I'd wear. Probably just like jean shorts, honestly. I don't know if they try it on or just hold it up. But again, just like the crochet knitted look. So stinking cute. Okay, this is definitely Europe. This is cute. Just like a cute little knitted top. Obviously, I'd have to wear something under it because this is definitely see-through. But some jean shorts. Cute, cute. What do we have next? I don't even remember half these things that I ordered. Oh, we have a bathing suit. Of course, shockingly, only one in this order. Normally that doesn't happen, but I feel like I've been getting a lot lately. So just a plain black. I always feel like I need more like plain black and plain white ones, but black like ribbed material with the little wooden circle in the middle. Bottoms are the same. And I love when everything ties because then it's adjustable and you can literally make it fit exactly how you want it, especially like hip rise length. I feel like a lot of bathing suits, when they're already set to a certain hip length, they just sometimes don't fit the way you want or the most like flattering on your body. So I love when you can adjust it. Oh, I could try that top on with these. Okay, we'll try it on. I got just plain white. I didn't know the material of these shorts, so. Okay, they're almost like paper baggy. I don't know how to explain that. They do have pockets though, so that's a win. I guess we'll try these on together. It's not terrible together. I just feel like material wise, it's so different. This is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I just think this top would be a lot cuter with just jean shorts, but I do really like it. I like these all individually and like these are just comfy to throw on, but I don't think I would wear this necessarily together. Next we got, I got a pair of hot pink parachute pants because I'm just always needing more pink to wear with LJ stuff and I feel like I'm always stuck wearing like black jeans or leggings to competitions, but these are like true LJ pink. So I think these will be fun and I'll be able to wear these more with just like t-shirts at comps and obviously because they're parachute pants, so basically sweatpants and really comfy. So got those, those are like hot pink. Yeah, these are nice. These are really, really pink. I feel like it's hard to find this exact shade. It's either like a really light pink or like a peachy toned. So I'm glad that worked. And then I think this is the last thing in here is this cute little sundress with purple flowers all over. I don't remember what the cut of this is like. Oh, 
very flowy. Okay. Let's try her on. Last thing we got. And the last dress we have, it is so flowy. I feel like a lot of my dresses are very, like more like form fitting. And I want more like flowy dresses to be able to just twirl around in. So I like this one, super girly. We got the bows on the side and just like all the purple flowers everywhere. But I think she's really pretty. I like her. That was a success. There's not one single thing that I am, don't plan on keeping or wearing or bringing, honestly. So successful. It is now 1235. Justin is at the gym from 2 to 10 today. So we got like all day by ourselves to get everything else done. But we're going to probably cook some lunch together so we can eat, hang out. We watched Vanderpump Rules this morning. We have an episode of The Valley we'll probably watch. I don't like love it yet but i have a feeling that this will be the new vanderpump rules in the next few seasons i don't know how much longer vanderpump rules has we'll see i don't know but i have a feeling these at least like this set of people will eventually transfer to the valley kind of like how kirsten and jacks already did but successful i'm happy with all of that i'm very happy with all of that we still have lots of packages over here to unbox so we'll do that after this has been one of our favorite meals lately. I feel like I've gotten every variation of it anytime it's available, but this is our lunch. It's crazy how different our setups are when we cook. Do you always put it there? Yeah. And that's where you cut everything? Mm -hmm. And then I, of course, sit over here. I put up a YouTube video. I take my time. You probably cook these meals so much faster than I do, but you also have less time most of the time. I got time to just make it happen, but I'm on pasta duty and sauce duty. He's doing the zucchini, the chicken. This will probably be done really fast. I'm very excited to eat this one. Mm, finally done. I'm very excited for this. Just left for work, so it's officially just me and the dog all night. I just took Claude for a walk, and I don't know why I chose now when knowing it's like the hottest hours of the day. I think it literally said it was like 88 degrees outside, and I'm dying, but we are back in and i don't know why like randomly i've so many packages i was only gone literally like friday saturday sunday and then justin was back monday but so many packages were sitting waiting for me at the house so i don't even know what half of these are so we're gonna do a little p r boxing together first package we got some face masks in here the packaging is so cute but i Oh, they're not face masks. They're like body masks. Oh, okay. So we got booty smooth cream mask. We have a body acne mask and a body hydrate mask. This would actually probably be really good after a day in the sun. Definitely be keeping that. Definitely be using that. That's a fun one. That's very different. I feel like that's something that I never get or try out. So that'll be fun to try. I need to break down all these boxes after. So hopefully they can take them today but next package is from Truvani let's see what do we got in here Ooh, okay well I just made a mess we have a sleep mask now what are your opinions on these I personally feel like I could never sleep in one of these I don't know why I feel like it would stress me out I also don't necessarily have a hard time sleeping so I don't think I need it but like this would stress me out for when I want to like open my eyes and I can't but I know like my sister loves these things. I don't know, maybe like on a plane, it would be really nice. I feel like that would be the only place where I could see myself enjoying it. Even that's kind of stressful though. I don't know why that stresses me out, but they have some gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based bars. I think that's what most of this package is about. I think there's a few different kinds in here. What flavor was that? Where does it say? We got chocolate peanut butter, Justin will love that. Chocolate brownie flavored, oatmeal chocolate chip, coconut cashew, and peanut butter. I've actually been finding myself getting hungry, like kind of in between my teams at the gym when I'm there. And I've been resulting to snacks in the vending machine, either like veggie straws or the like cheddar and sour cream chips or fruit snacks, <laughs> things that are a, one, a snack for a child and two, just like not good for me. So, maybe we'll start, if I can remember, start bringing one of those to the gym. So, when I'm hungry, I can eat that and not have to go to the vending machine. What is next? Um, I actually don't know what this is. 
Maybelline. We have a few shades of Lifter Gloss and Lifter Plum, which I tried this one. I was actually at an event with um, LTK and Maybelline a few weeks ago, and they had this, and I tried it, and this is one that you can feel the burn. Like, I could feel it tingling for quite some time on my lips. Then we have some Sky High Mascara and a few other, what else is this? Superstay lip product and a Superstay matte lip product. That's some makeup. I need to really like go through all the makeup PR I've been getting and all of the makeup I have right now and just kind of either do like a condensing or a combining of it all. And really, I feel like I've been getting a lot of really new good makeup products, but I continue to use my old ones and then I don't love the way my makeup looks instead of just trying out all the new ones. So I really need to spend a day to just like put everything together and organize it out and try out all these products. Um, Dr. Dennis Gross, I'm excited for this because I want to get on my skincare routine grind. I am now going to be 26 next month, which is insane. That does not feel real. It feels illegal to say, but I'm going to be 26 and I'm in the sun a lot. Obviously I am very, actually lately I have been really good with sunscreen. As a kid, I was always the kind of kid that I was like, eh, like my skin doesn't like burn that easily. I feel like I get tan really easily. And I'd be like, oh, I don't need to put that much sunscreen on. And then I feel like as, as I've gotten older and more mature, and smarter. I've been a lot better about sunscreen specifically on my face. So I feel like I have been doing my part there, but I also just feel like I can be doing more preventative wise on my skin while I can before it's like too late and I wish I would have started earlier. Okay, we have a daily peel formula thing here from Dennis Gross. What are all of these? Fill and repair serum. We have a Plump and Repair Lip Treatment. That sounds like a good one. And then that was it in this box. I am going to make a mess with all of these little packing things, whatever they're called. And this last one I actually peeked into because I had no idea who this box was from and it's like a pretty big box. So I was so curious and it's from Rare Beauty. So I'm very excited, so. I didn't like fully look at it. I just wanted to see what the brand name was. I didn't actually open the package, but. Such cute packaging. This is, I actually have been wanting and needing a new blush in my makeup rotation. So I am actually very excited. I will definitely be probably implementing these into my everyday. Oh my God, there's so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I feel like everyone, these like rare beauty blushes, I feel like are a staple in everyone's makeup routine and I have not had them. And I'm very excited because there's so much good stuff in here. Okay, what do we have? We have the luminous powder blush, the liquid blush, another powder blush, another liquid blush, another powder blush, obviously. A dry brush cleaner. Oh, I need to do that. I don't ever clean my brushes if I'm being honest probably gross. Um, so we have some different shades down here and some brushes. I am so excited for this. Okay. Wow. I don't know how I ended up on the rare beauty PR, but I'm not complaining and I'm very happy and I will be trying out all of these. Hey, Selena. Anyway, I have a lot of PR saved up over the years of things that I just like, there's no way I can use them all or go through them all or just like I have multiple of the same product and I've been saving them. I have a full bin of PR stuff. I know I've said it before, but within the next few weeks, stay tuned to either this channel or my Instagram stories or probably both. I am going to be doing a giveaway because I just need to like, obviously I like continue getting packages. So I need to make room for more. And I just want you guys to enjoy this stuff just as much as I get to enjoy it. So stay tuned we're going to be figuring out a way that i can do a giveaway and you guys can get like some really 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 good pr that i just will not be able to use all of it or consume all of it and i'd rather go to someone that can so stay tuned for all of that what is next on the schedule i need to unpack from this weekend do the dishes unload the dishwasher probably do some laundry maybe i don't know how full my hamper is i need to check that out 
and maybe start looking at other Europe things. We still don't really have any, we still only have the one flight booked, so we need to do Airbnbs or hotels or whatever we're doing at all of our places. All of our in-between traveling, we need to get that booked. And any, like, I just want to plan out any, like, super popular restaurants that need reservations ahead of time. I know a lot of them, reservations open, like, two weeks before. So I kind of just want to get all of that organized, so that way I don't miss out on those. Oh, that's the other thing. I think we're podcasting tonight, and I think we're actually podcasting about, like, how we plan a trip like this. So I'll give all my tips and tricks on that. So make sure if you're interested to look into that. I need to put all this away now that I made a mess and break down all these boxes. Basically got all apartment stuff off the to-do list. We unpacked everything, cleaned up the room a little bit, threw in a load of laundry, emptied out the dishwasher, did the dishes. I think that was it. I think that's all we had to do. Um, we're about to podcast now any minute. And then the only thing I have left to do tonight, technically, is cook dinner. So pretty easy night. I think my my birthday dress says it's out for delivery today. But it seems kind of late for it to not be delivered yet. So I have a feeling it probably won't come until tomorrow. I think I had another package coming today, actually, now that I think of that. Oh, no, it comes tomorrow. I have a package coming from Kuwani Kini's that I don't know what's in there. So that'll be exciting to unbox and see. But that comes tomorrow. My dress says it's still coming today. I don't see that happening. So I guess I'll probably keep this vlog going until tomorrow. So hopefully I can show you those as well. But we're going to podcast. And then I'll probably have about like an hour or so to kill before we have to start cooking dinner. All right, podcast is done, and then I FaceTimed my dad and my grandpa for a little while, and now it is officially 9.28, so it is time to get started on cooking. I am so excited for this. Chicken, what even is it? Lemon dill chicken sausage couscous. I just love couscous, and I feel like I was robbed of like having couscous as a kid. I feel like I didn't have it until I was like 20s, cooking with HelloFresh. Like, why don't... We eat couscous more. It's so good. I think I'm gonna make extra couscous because knowing me, I'll eat the entire two person serving myself and then Justin will have none. So I have couscous now is a staple in this household and I always have it. So I'll probably just cook some more. Birthday dress, this is a girthy zucchini. Birthday dress did not come today, which is fine. I have plenty of time. I don't need it right the second Anyway, like I well, I don't know when I'm gonna take the pictures. Actually, I don't know where I'm gonna take the pictures. I Made a bunch of TikToks about what I'm doing, but I always do like a, a big birthday photo shoot every year and The theme of this year's is like glitz and glam and it's all a silver vibe because next year is my golden birthday I turn 27 on the 27th So I figured we'll do silver this year and then next year we'll go all out for the golds and I got pretty much all my accessories on Amazon. So those are already here. I did an unboxing on TikTok if you want to go look at all the details. But the dress is the only thing left. And I had a feeling it wasn't coming today. The delivery day was tomorrow the entire time until literally it was out on the delivery truck today. And then it just never showed up. So hopefully that'll be coming tomorrow. What shape am I supposed to cut the zucchini in? It says half moons, but I don't really like eating half moons. I like eating strips more because then I feel like instead of like certain bites having pieces of zucchini, then more of them do. So we're going to cut them into better shapes. But I don't know where I'm going to take the pictures. I know there's absolutely no way that they are going to turn out if I try to take them in my apartment. I feel like a hotel will be best, but like am I really going to get a hotel room for that? seems a little crazy I also don't know I'm gonna need to take them ahead of time because my birthday is actually day one of worlds so we'll be in Orlando so I want to make sure that they're all taken edited ready to go so I don't need to worry about them I know it's extra but like it also low-key is I mean like content creating is part of my job so when I have a reason to go all out I like to go all out well 
the cook with me kind of turned into cook without me. I got distracted. I was watching a YouTube video while I was doing all like the basic first steps. And then Justin called me on his way home. And now dinner is done. But it looks really good. Although the chicken sausage like really just blended in with everything else. I can't even see it. But it looks really hot. We're going to try it. I don't know. I don't know if we've had this one yet. It is really good though. It's hot. I'm gonna let it sit. We're gonna eat, watch something, and probably just go to bed, but I'll keep this going tomorrow, so see you in the morning. Good morning. Well, afternoon. It's definitely not morning anymore. I woke up this morning. Justin is working with a college cheer team to get ready for Daytona, so we're home alone again today, and I finally got a notification that my birthday dress is here, so I went down to the mailbox to check it out, and Somehow I have a bunch of packages. I, this is such an abnormal amount for one week. I don't understand why I'm getting so many, but we'll just continue the unboxing with all of these. I don't really know what's in any of them, but we're gonna save the dress for last because that's what I'm most excited about. I cannot wait to open that. But this first one, ooh, okay. First package, well, I think I have two from them actually. I have two salt and stone packages. What is this first? A hand cream. Their packaging is so aesthetic. I love it. So we have hand cream there. I love the minimal, like neutral packaging and aesthetic of everything. This is a body wash. I wonder what the scent is. Oh, bergamot. Oh, so pretty. So we have a body wash. Definitely we'll be keeping and using that. And a natural deodorant. And I feel like I've actually heard good things about their natural deodorant because sometimes they're like very hit or miss on if they like truly Hold up and work. Smells really good. So that's package one from Salt and Stone. We have another one. I'm also cooking my buffalo pasta right now because we were supposed to have burgers for lunch today, but then last minute Justin had to leave. So I was like, I haven't had pasta honestly in a really long time. Oh, is this the same thing? Okay, we have another one of each of those. I cannot wait until. We have a house, we talk about this all the time, but to have like a garage with a drink fridge, because our fridge just does not have enough room for all of these. So I feel like we never know where to put them and then hydration sticks that go in water. But like if I had a whole drink fridge, that would be so convenient. I, I am never gonna get rid of these boxes. I can only put three out at a time when I go to like break down the boxes and take them out with my trash. And between yesterday and today, we're at like 15. These are never, they're never gonna take them. And now the moment of truth, the birthday dress. If this doesn't work out, then I'm basically screwed because I have planned the entire thing to revolve around this dress. It's heavy. Okay. I'm excited. We do need to figure out where I'm taking these pictures though, but. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, it is really heavy. This is like, I feel like I have to try it on to make sure that it fits. But it's not really, it doesn't need to be like form fitting. Like I feel like the vibe is kind of a little bit loose, but like, look at that sparkle. Okay, while we're cooking our pasta, I guess we have nothing else better to do. So let's try it on. Okay, I got it in extra small. I do think extra, extra small was an option. And I think that might have been the better option. But I was worried because obviously there's like no stretch in this. And I wanted to be able to like have it baggy and like have it move. So I'm not mad about it. I think this was probably the smarter choice and the safer choice. Because it still fits completely. Like it's not meant to be tight. But I love the look of it. And then the back. Like literally just no back. Completely all the way down. Yay, it's so cute. I do not feel like putting this on with all the accessories and trying it, but I'm happy with it. Gourmet five-star lunch we got going on here. Kind of have a headache. I don't know. I, I like it just woke up with one. I don't know. It kind of feels like it's in my shoulder. Like I feel like I probably just slept crazy, but it's really annoying. So I think today's plan is I have some like work stuff to get done. So I think we're just gonna hang on the couch, get all of my work done if I can in the next few hours and watch the Real Housewives of Miami season four reunion. 
I think that sounds like a plan. Eat some pasta and yeah, I don't know why I feel, I don't feel like off. I just like, I honestly, my headache is just annoying. I think that's why I feel just like down and out of it, but cheers. This looks really hot. Mm. But it never fails. So good. And that's pretty much all I've been doing. This video is much longer than I expected. I was gonna like keep filming throughout the next day or so, but we're literally already at 30 minutes. So we'll just start a new video in the next few days. Hi, buddy. You sleepy over there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of unboxings. I don't know why I got like such an abnormal amount of packages this week. That was kind of crazy, but it was fun to unbox them and hang out with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Yeah.